Chess friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, today I will show you Alpha Zero vs Alpha Zero game, there is several draws between new Alpha Zero, but I will show you the one game where Alpha Zero beats his own clone, and if you are new to my YouTube channel, then you can like and subscribe to get more episodes, Alpha started with E4, we have E6, Alpha played F4, fascinating move, he is playing his best opening against himself, ok we have D5, E5, c5 by black alpha, knight to f3, knight on e7, we have c3. You might think, black can push the d-pawn to d4 square, but if d4 happen, then play normally, bishop d3, there is no issue if black plays d4, so, we have knight to d7, knight goes to a3, white alpha wants to play like this, pawn here, b3, bishop here, so, knight to c6, knight on c2, bishop here, d4, castle, ok, black can play f6, takes, then knight takes, try to open the f file for the rook, or queen here to pressure on this pawn, here alpha 0 played h4, because he is a stockfish subscriber. Alpha's strategy is to play bishop d3, then bishop sacrifice on h7, king takes, knight g5 check, if you play king back to g8, then killer move queen h5 will come to checkmate you, and if you takes the knight with your bishop, then pawn takes, the h-file will be open and you will be destroyed, so, in this position, we have f6, try to create some space in the king side, ok bishop to d3 by alpha, this is coming, so, queen slides to e8, try to protect that square from the queen's entry, h5, threatening to play h6. Black played c4 first, bishop to e2, we have b5, creating gameplay on queen side, because every pieces in kingside are very passive, black wants to play b4 with the supporting of knight and bishop, alpha played h6, you know taking the pawn isn't good otherwise the f file will be open, so we have g5, you should not play f takes g5, because after pawn takes, then f file will open where is your king position, so, pawn takes pawn, knight takes, knight takes g5, alpha's plan is to play knight here, queen here. Then queen takes checkmate on h7, so, bishop d6, g3, queen here, knight goes to e3, threatening to play knight g4, takes, bishop takes, threatening bishop h5, if queen slides over, then queen here, threatening this mate, I mean if white successfully puts every pieces in the black king side, it will be very bad for black, so, we bishop p7, knight g4, knight e4, knight takes, queen takes, threatening to take the rook, we have king to f2, using the king as a piece and threatening this, b4, bishop here, queen back to g6, queen ups. King here, knight here, takes, f takes is not good because the f file will be open, so we have d takes knight, making pawn chain on king side, bishop backs, bishop to h5, taking the pawn isn't good, because the file gets open, alpha will play bishop e3, bishop here, targeting the queen and the d7 bishop at the same time, and you know what, queen e4 is not good, because after queen takes, takes, alpha have a great pawn structure. And white is totally winning, because he have a greater space, black's king position and his pieces are passive, so, here we have queen to g8, alpha offering a queen exchange, we have a5, bishop d3, black takes it, bishop takes, rook slides to b8, black want to play like this, there is nothing mysterious thing, bishop d4, threatening to play f5, takes, then push the pawn, giving a check and attacking to the bishop at the same time, so, king slides to g8, getting out from here, king to g2, white wants to play rook here. f5, takes, bishop takes, making a passed pawn, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes, rook b2 check, king ups, a4, bishop here, rook slides, bishop e3, a3, g4, threatening to play f5, so, rook slides to b8, we have g5, rook on f8, rook g1, bishop back to e8, bishop here, bishop to e7, rook g2, rook on b8, rook here, rook takes, takes you might think, black can play rook here, takes, takes, then make a clear passed pawn, but if rook b2 happen, then play normally, bishop here, there is no need to take the rook, so rook comes to b1, bishop h5. Bishop here, g6, 
Rook on e1, black is targeting on the bishop, but alpha played g7, because if you take it, let me show you, then bishop f7, wait, why not bishop f7 is happening. Oh, the king is in under check, so king g2, bishop f7 is coming, you can't stop it, rook takes, bishop check, you have to take it, then I will promote a new a queen and checkmate you, so, back to the position, black alpha played rook check, rook blocks, rook here, king to g3, bishop backs, bishop here, rook slides, bishop enters, bishop backs, rook on d2, white can play bishop here to target this pawn, so, rook to a1, bishop here, rook f1, bishop takes pawn, bishop c6, rook to b2, threatening to play rook here, to grab the bishop, so bishop c7, we have bishop to d6, you should not take the bishop, if you take it, then takes, rook check, king here, g8 is equal to new queen and also you can't play bishop a5, because of the same reason, here, promotes, so rook check, king back to f2, the bishop have no future, I already told you why, so rook here, bishop takes bishop, rook takes, rook b6, bishop backs f5, you can't take the pawn, otherwise you will lose your rook, so, king takes pawn, pawn check, king slides, bishop backs. Threatening to play rook b7 check, let me show the variation, if you play any other normal looking move, rook to g4, then rook here, king here, check, here check, here, check, f7 check, and I will promote a new queen, so in this position we have best move rook takes pawn, takes. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.